In this segment, I'll be covering the new features in 8.2 with regards to LAN XML, the collaboration between different professionals across different disciplines, often using different software within the geospatial environment, is extremely important for complex projects to come together within one 3D model. LAN XML is a data format which allows such collaboration. LAN XML is extremely easy inside Civil Designer. You can simply import and export survey models as well as sewer, stormwater and water pipe networks. When it comes to road networks, LAN XML holds a library for the horizontal and vertical alignment as well as the complete 3D model. One complication exists in whichever software you're using, and that is when the need arises to change the completed 3D road model. This is because LAN XML does not contain the file structure for the road model. Should you encounter this difficulty, an application to import different software road templates has now been created in 8.2. Let's go ahead and have a look at how this is done. I'm now going to hand you over to Darby, our roads development head who will explain how to import the roads template or assemblies into Civil Designer. In this, this session, I will be showing you the enhancements that we made to the import of LAN XML data. In this example, I will be importing some LAN XML data that was exported by, by Civil 3D. Uh, we will start off in Civil 3D. Here you can see an assembly with sub-assemblies. Um, equivalent to our civil designer template. Let's have a look at the cross section. So in Civil 3D you can see the cross sections with the sub uh, the assemblies and the sub assemblies. Export LAN XML. And we will export to this file. Save overwrite yes. Close Civil 3D for now. And now we're going to import this data into Civil Designer. We display a list of available roadways from the LAN XML file. We select the one that we exported. Civil Designer has detected that there is a complex cross-section data stored in the LAN XML file and allows you to control how the cross-sections are imported. Using the define cross-section function, it allows you to specify the cross-section points by simply, simply clicking on the nodes. Points don't have to be linked though. We also have the ability to change the import method to click on connected edges. Using the defined road edges tool um, allows you to place exactly where on which points your road edges are. Then define toe points. You simply, similarly, you define where the toe points of your cross section are. Okay, we can see the road entity, which is a horizontal alignment, a vertical alignment, and edges. We extract the ground like you normally would. We go through the normal um, design procedures, civil designer. We generate the vertical alignment and the edge levels. Specify the development method there. Okay. Then I just want to go to the template paths. This, this is a template that was created by the import routine from the civil design or from the civil 3D uh, sub assemblies. And we apply template. And once it's done, we can go through cross sections and you can see this the cross sections that has just been applied created by apply template from a template that was created from the land xml file with the uh, sub -assemb assemblies and sub assemblies okay there, there's the there are the cross sections for the entire road so the entire road has been imported Previously, we could only import the alignments. If we go back to Civil 3D, you can see that the import, the import routine, you'll notice that there is only an option to import horizontal alignments and no option to import the corridor. These enhancements should make it a lot easier for you to collaborate with your other software packages. 